Rumours of the magic water started to circulate amongst the rich and famous. Lord Abergavenny, inspired by Dudley's leap back to health, started to clear access to the water. He sunk a couple of holes. He put a, a little fence all the way round and a hut. So, it wasn't long before the invalided elite started to make their excursions down to those wells on the Kent and Sussex border. In May 1630, after the birth of Prince Charles, later King Charles II, Henrietta Maria, wife of Charles I, spent six weeks camping adjacent to the wells. She had with her her royal household and friends. They had to put up in tents. <laughs> they range from about 40 to 70 feet in height, but these days they make the perfect backdrop for picnickers, for walkers, for wedding photography, and of course, for rock climbers. This is the bell stone, and it, they will they say that if you whack it with a stick, well, it resonates like a bell. So, uh, shall we try it? Here we are, look. Cool. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Oh. 